Hey, I'm Katie Lee, and welcome to an all new What Would Katie Eat Home Edition. Today, we're celebrating the dad to be in my life, Ryan, my husband, and we're making his favorite meal. I'm talking about tacos. I'm doing a little pork tenderloin taco. It's got a spicy coffee rub on it and pineapple salsa. Yum. What do you think, Gus? Does that sound good? He looks so enthused. And we got him a little gift. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe. I'm out here at the grill. Ryan's behind the camera and I'm making one of his favorites, tacos. When Ryan lived in LA, he would go on these taco crawls to all the different street carts and his favorite is pork tacos. So I'm grilling up pork tenderloin. I'm going to make a special little rub for it and then we're going to make some pineapple salsa inside. So let's make the rub for it. I'm starting off with coffee actually. So I really like to use coffee because it gives it this really deep flavor and you don't take a bite of it and think, well, that tastes like my morning cup of coffee. It's just this nice richness that ensues. So start off with that, add some chili powder. The chili powder is gonna give us a nice smokiness and just a little bit of spice, some paprika and granulated onion or onion powder and garlic powder. This is a great rub. And some pepper, some salt. I usually do about a teaspoon of salt per pound and I've got a little under two pounds of meat here. And then brown sugar. The brown sugar is really important because it balances out the spice and I love a sweetness with pork. Add that in. And then just stir it all together. And whatever you have left over from this, save it. This would be great on a steak, chicken breast, chicken thighs. You could put it on pork chops. It'd be wonderful on salmon too. So just play around with it. Save it, put it in a little container. All right, I'm gonna brush the pork with some vegetable oil. And this will just help our rub stick to it. All right, now it's time to put this rub on. And really get a nice crust on there. Now you could do this step in advance. Wrap these up, put them in the fridge for a couple hours till you're ready to grill. And that'll just help the flavor permeate even more into those. All right, let's get these pork tenderloins on the grill. Now I've got my grill set up to two different heat zones. I've got my direct heat and my indirect heat. And I'm gonna start these on the direct heat so we get a nice sear on them. And then we'll move them over. Oh yeah. Mm. Instantly I can smell that chili powder start to cook and the brown sugar caramelizing. It smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, looks amazing. I'm happy to be celebrating Ryan today because he's been so supportive during this pregnancy. He's just the best talking about you in front of you. <laughs> and he's a great dog dad. So this is kind of from Gus too. Gus and I may have gotten you a little gift, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, this looks good. Let's flip it. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that nice crusty crust. That looks amazing. All right, while those finish searing, I'm gonna work on the tortillas. I just like to heat these up on the grill and then wrap them in a little bit of aluminum foil so that they stay warm. So I'm gonna put these on the indirect heat side because I'm not looking to really char them up. I just want a little kiss of heat. And those are already hot. Wrap these up. And now I'm gonna move this pork over to the indirect side. And this is where it'll finish cooking. So this way the pork doesn't get dry. It goes to a lower heat and that really gives it a chance. It's, it's like, you know, if you started something on the stovetop and moved it to the oven to finish, same thing here. 
All right, close it up. It's going to need about 10 minutes, depending on the thickness of your pork tenderloin, but you want it to reach 150 degrees on a meat thermometer. Then you know that it's safe to eat. All right, let's go inside and make the pineapple salsa. All right, now I'm going to make my pineapple cucumber salsa. You can make this in advance as well. The longer it sits, the better those flavors are going to get. And now I'm going to put it in my serving bowl. Ryan, get in here. Look how good this looks. All those nice colors. This salsa would be really good on grilled chicken, grilled fish. So you can use it for different recipes. All right, I'm going to get this cleaned up. I've got all my toppings here, and we're gonna build a taco. Okay, let's slice up one of these pork loins. <laughs> that one's for you. Notice that Gus came in as soon as I got the pork tenderloin out. <laughs> He's no dummy. See how juicy it is because we gave it time to rest. The pork really maintained its juices. <laughs> hey, watch it, pal. All right, if the cameraman gets a bite, I get a bite too. I like the end piece. That's good. Our pork's ready. Let's make some tacos. I'm gonna top it with some pork. Oh yeah, I like putting it back on the platter because all those juices are on there. I think take a look at that. Looks great. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this shredded purple cabbage, some of our pineapple cucumber salsa, a little sour cream, squeeze a lime, and a few leaves of fresh cilantro. Take a look at that, babe. It's taking everything in me not to dive into this taco to wait for you to be polite. <laughs> Since today's about you, really, not about me. <laughs> Get over here, let's eat. There's been so much build up to these tacos. Can we eat? <laughs> but one last thing, you gotta open your present first. I was wondering what this was. Here. Did you give me something from Tiffany's? Oh. Wow. Don't get too excited. Guess what's daddy got? What did we get him? <laughs> You didn't have to give me anything. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Tacos would have been more than enough, trust me. Well, I know you're going to be the best dad. What? <laughs> this is what I always wanted. It's a Gus taco holder. A Gus taco holder. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I love it. <laughs> I'm Let's so glad. All right, build yourself a taco. I'm diving right in. I, I can't wait any longer. Mmm. Mmm. Pregnant lady's hungry. Oh, yeah? Mmm. This is so good. First of all, that coffee rub on the pork. Get out of here. It's smoky and spicy and deep mm -hmm. and rich. And the pork is so tender and juicy. Then with that sweet pineapple salsa, the refreshing cucumber, a little hint of spice from the jalapeno crunchy purple cabbage and creamy sour cream this is awesome yeah, delicious i know that it's not california street tacos but you know i did my best did <laughs> well i know you're gonna be the best dad and i know that you're gonna pass on your love of tacos to our little girl and i can't wait till <laughs> you take her and teach her all about him it's gonna be so fun I'm not crying, I swear. <laughs> lime juice in my eyes. Well, I hope you all make these tacos. And from my home to yours, stay safe, stay cozy, and keep on cooking. Mm. 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 Mm.